This is Carrie, and it's the Afternoon State of Mind on Penn's Peak Radio. We have a very special guest on the show today. Jamie St. James of Black and Blue is joining us today. Are you there, Jamie? That is correct, of the great Black and Blue. Yes, the great Black and Blue. Black and Blue is going to be performing here this Thursday with Quiet Riot. We are very much looking forward to having you here at Penn's Peak. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I, and I, I've... Uh... You know, I I haven't been there in a long time. I I think it's been about ten years ago, something like that. I was lead singer for Warrant at that time, and I think I played the venue then. But uh, Black and Blue hasn't been there in a long, long time, so everybody needs to come out and rock and roll with us. Absolutely, we are so so excited to have you here. What can the audience expect from a Black and Blue show? Well, first of all, the good news is is we have our original lead singer, which would be me. You. And uh, we still have the original bass player, original drummer from all the way back to 1981, which is when we formed the band. So been around a long time. Um, so we have, a, uh, we have a killer show, great set list uh, planned for the night. Um, it's going to be wham, bam, and, and, and kicking some butt. <laughs> and, and, and the band, the band's on fire. I can tell you that we've been playing the last few shows. We just came back from Canada a while back, mm-hmm. and had some really killer shows up there. And we're good. And if you if you like this kind of music, you better come down because you're going to be missing something for sure. Absolutely. Do you guys have any like specific pre-show rituals that you do? Well, you know, I don't even know what those guys do because mine is pr- pretty much hibernation. I, <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't peek my head out of the cave until it's showtime. So, I, I that's the most important thing a singer can do, especially as you get, you know, starting to get a little older, is getting sleep. And so, when I'm touring, it's just uh, all about uh, hibernating and, and uh, coming out, get ready to rock and roll. The guys, they have a whole other thing where they do the sound check, and they're all busy. I can't do that. It's just not the I'm not built for that. I, I'm, I'm built to come out full blown, full blown singing uh, when the time, when the when the hour strikes right. You take a nap before the show. I always sleep during <laughs> the day, and and then I, I my ritual is uh, getting up, taking a shower, and start warming my voice up uh, about two hours before the show. So nobody sees me during the day. Oh, I see. You're kind of like a vampire in that way. I guess so. <laughs> I am, but it's. You know, it, 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 it sounds kind of crazy, but I would rather just be kind of alone and do my thing, and then when it's time to go, I explode. But, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I guess I could be considered a bit of a vampire as far as that goes. <laughs> that makes total sense. The last record you guys released was in 2011. Do you have any plans to record again, or are you just sticking to touring at this point? You know, uh, I love recording. I'm a songwriter. I love the process of, 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 of bringing a new song to life. It's like the coolest thing in the world. Uh, unfortunately, it's just, it's a different world now. Um, you know, it's, uh, I, it, it's not out of the question that we may do another record again someday, but uh, it's just more difficult because of the, uh, you know, the whole, people don't buy records like they used to. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the, it, 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 we, I like to do something that's high quality. It costs a lot of money. So I, I wouldn't want to do anything uh, in, in any way chintzy. So, right. you know, who knows? It's not impossible, but it's just a different world than it used to be as far as recording goes. Yeah, yeah. No, I totally understand that. Uh, do you find that a lot of... I Obviously, your fans from the 80s are going to be coming out to see you guys. Do you find that they bring their kids out too? Are you finding an influx of uh, a younger generation enjoying your music? Yeah, that's actually probably the coolest thing about it is I will see people that weren't even born when the, the record came out singing along, and I know that's because of their parents. So for me, that's that's really really cool, and uh, it's a uh, it's an amazing thing to see. And I, I, I sometimes look out in the crowd and go, "How do you know what, what you know? How do you know all the words? It's just crazy." But uh, yeah, it's it, it's really fun, and and it is it has become that. You know, you never know. There could, you know, some people out there. Are, are in their fifties and other ones are teenagers. It's 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 pretty amazing, actually. I, I honestly I didn't even think that uh, Black and Blue would still be going it, 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 this many years. You know, it's uh, it's kind of uh, amazing. I think that's just um, th- that just goes to show the stamina of your band um, is doing really well. Uh, 
definitely a new generation can appreciate rock of the 80s. It was so like carefree. The the rock music of the 80s was so carefree. And I think that's something that uh, the younger generation is really looking for these days. I, I think so. And then, and like I said, that's, that's like pretty much the most exciting thing is that when I see that, and I, and it's very cool. And then, look, these songs are, it, the, the good news is, is we, we wrote, we wrote a lot of good songs. The music still st- sounds good today. It doesn't sound cheesy. It doesn't sound kind of weird. It still, it still holds water. And I, and that's a, a good testament to, to the, the band. I mean, uh, it's all about the songwriting. It really is. And uh, we've got some killer tunes. So and, and anybody who wants to come out and check it out, you're going to see a blast from the past that, uh, that's, that's just as modern as it can be. So it's going to be fun. Definitely. We're going to be playing a couple of your tunes in just a little bit. And also, we're going to be giving away a pair of tickets to go see you guys this Thursday here at Penn's Peak. You are performing with Quiet Riot. Have you guys played with Qui- Quiet Riot before? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh I, we played Black and Blue played with Quiet Riot in 1983, Woo! The first time at, at the Roxy on the Sunset Strip in Hollywood. So we go back a long ways. Um, yeah, we just played with Quiet Riot actually um, uh, about you know, last year, about a year ago. Mm-hmm. Um, in the, if everybody's heard of the Rainbow in, in uh, Los Angeles, the Rainbow parking lot, an outdoor show. Mm-hmm. There were so many people there; they, they they had to shut it down. It was just p- packed. So we kind of have a history with Quiet Riot, and they they're sounding good, and uh, yeah, it's 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 always fun to play with those guys. Awesome. Um, they're they're a little different now. They have a new singer, but uh, they're 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 sounding great. Definitely fantastic. We are so much looking forward to seeing you guys here on Thursday. Where can people check you out online before the show? Well, you can always just. It's real easy just to Google black and blue and something will come up. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of stuff on, you know, YouTube and, but we have a website. I think it's called blackandblueofficial.com. Mm-hmm. Um, we're on the Facebook, Twitter and all that stuff. Just black and blue. You, you, you Google black and blue and you're going to get a lot of good stuff. All right. Definitely check that out. This Thursday, Quiet Riot and Black and Blue here at Penn's Peak. Doors open at 7, show starts at 8. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Jamie. It is a joy and a pleasure. Thank you, Carrie. My, it was my, all my pleasure. And everybody come on out to rock and roll. You're going to have a good time, I promise. Absolutely. You have a fantastic day, Jamie. All right, rock on. Thank you.